coronavirus has happened in the past, be it the SARS outbreak in 2002 or the MERS outbreak in 2012. How is this pandemic different from the previous uh, outbreaks? Uh, there are a couple of things which uh, make this virus unique. One is uh, our behavior. Compared to 20 years ago, uh, the, uh, our planet has become smaller in terms of uh, people reaching one place to other. So when we travel, we also carry uh, things it. like infection. The second thing is this virus is uh, 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 far more infectious than uh, earlier SARS or MERS is uh, tenfold or even more infectious than those. And that's what has given this virus advantages. Luckily, it's not as lethal as SARS and MERS because they were much more dangerous. So if this kind of infection happened that time, that would have wiped out uh, a huge uh, number. number. So this is less uh, 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 dangerous in terms of mortality, but is extremely infectious. Uh, probably, uh, I mean, more infectious than these are than only the measles and uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, or something like common cold of a similar category. Otherwise, so that's what has led to the uh, what we uh, have observed as a pandemic because it spread so fast. I mean, yeah. you have seen uh, in November sometime uh, uh, we found that there's a, a variant called Omicron in mm -hmm. African countries. And within four or five weeks, we have shared the air and everybody, the uh, whole, all whole world, there was a Omicron. So that fast is the, um, the, uh, the spread of this virus. So that was, has given this advantage. So the spread. You know, uh, Dr. Mishra, how were the earlier outbreaks curtailed and why are we still really struggling uh, to put an end to the COVID-19 pandemic. This is also when we have so many vaccines and the vaccines have been developed in record time. So this was not the case earlier. So do you think it's because again, the way it's spreading because of the infectiousness of the disease? Exactly, yeah. So uh, if when a virus becomes infectious, it has many advantages because this is able to present newer and newer variants faster because the variants will come only when the virus infects another individual and creates new mutations. Most of them will be not useful for the virus, so they disappear, but few that are more infectious, they survive and they uh, start to dominate in the population. Sure. And since this is being infectious, one infected person can infect 10 other infected people while uh, MERS and uh, SARS will infect maybe one or two. So that means that you can imagine this is a chain reaction. Yeah. So uh, earlier ones were not so infectious. Once people realized very little uh, care uh, just uh, terminated the chain and uh, uh, one of them is disappeared and other one once in a while keep coming. Yeah. But this one, because of its infectiousness, is uh, spread fast and newer variants also express themselves or they are uh, they spread uh, far more uh, 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 with larger speed okay as you mentioned we have vaccine now so we should be able to control that and that's what actually has happened the vaccines have saved millions of lives so what is happening is uh, uh, that vaccines are not able to prevent the infection they are able to prevent the seriousness of the disease so people may get infected, but our immunity uh, uh, defense uh, and uh, virus is not able to cause much damage. Although some degree it will uh, prevent the infection uh, in the beginning of the infection as well. But since the virus is spread fast, more variants come, then uh, before our body gets prepared, uh, the new variants uh, starts to attack. And that's why like Omicron is spread so fast. Mm -hmm. uh, although most people had prior immunity of one kind or other, but this was able to uh, break through that immunity and spread. But okay. luckily, as I said, the uh, uh, because of the prior protection, uh, mm -hmm. those who were either infected or were vaccinated did not suffer much from Omicron. But others did suffer a lot. Many countries, lots of deaths because of Omicron, mm -hmm. uh, where there were no vaccination or uh, less infection prior to... Uh, so vaccination definitely, I think, is key. Absolutely. And of course, like all COVID protocols are still important, you know, from wearing a mask to maintaining social distancing. Moving on, uh, Dr. Mishra, you know, uh, something which we want to know about is, just for our viewers, a very, very basic question, what is genome sequencing and what role does it play in disease um, uh, outbreaks or its prevention? So genome is the... Uh, uh, the genetic material of all living beings like we are unique or what we are because of our genome 
So this virus genome is in form of RNA. Most of the other organisms have DNA as their genetic material. And the complete sequencing, that means reading the complete detail of this genome is called genome sequencing. Because that's essentially the chemical units that make the genome we decipher by uh, using some technology and machines. So we know exactly what those 30,000 letters in this virus are. So now since the virus is changing, a change virus then infects and then new chains are added and so on. So we can actually uh, plot the relationship between one infection to other. The way we can plot the relationship among individuals, parents and uh, their children and their grandparents and so on by just reading their uh, DNA sequence. Similarly, by reading the genome of the virus, we can actually connect to the relatedness of this virus, same uh, 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 virus with different variants and find out a, how it is spreading, which are the paths, whether it went first to Bombay, then to Delhi, then to Kolkata, so on. So we can actually figure out uh, if we do in detail way. Second thing is, uh, as the virus is changing, new and new variations are coming and some of them will be more harmful, some of them may be less harmful. So suddenly if we see people are falling sick more than uh, previous, so or suddenly there is more infection than uh, earlier. So we wonder whether a new variant has come or people have done partying and marriage uh, dinner and that is why it has spread. So if you go and sequence, you will immediately know. So, uh, so uh, for example, now we know the recent increase in cases is not because of new variant. It is because of the activity of the people. But when we see that uh, cases are increased and we see this new variant, then we know we have to take uh, additional Excellent. precaution. New bug has come around. And the third thing which genome sequencing does is the finding the target uh, of the virus which can be used for uh, uh, for the drug and of course the vaccine. Why vaccine came so fast? Because the moment the virus infection was identified, its sequence was made available and within weeks uh, people started working on the vaccine. And there was some prior uh, lead mm -hmm. because of the vaccination that was tried with the earlier uh, SARS virus. So same thing was adopted and the vaccines uh, did become available extremely fast it like it yes. was like magic none of us Absolutely. were expecting so many vaccines will become available and they have been really helpful in fighting this kind of disease yes you know again uh, in terms of genome sequencing how big are india's capabilities compared to other countries in the world and what kind of infrastructure does india have for genome sequencing so genome sequence capabilities uh, is reasonable in our country, particularly uh, for uh, sequencing the genome of the uh, SARS-CoV-2. It's actually trivial in terms of if you call, think of the technology and the capacity that we have. We have mm -hmm. tremendous capacity for this. Of course, there are countries like UK and all, they are far ahead of us, uh, even there are oh. smaller countries in terms of genome capacity. Uh, but sequencing the uh, SARS-CoV-2 genome is not really, uh, capacity is not an issue. We have a lot of that. Uh, there are many places, uh, 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 10, 12 places where you can do very, very high throughput. You can sequence thousands and thousands in each day. But there are hundreds of other centers where you can do small scale sequencing, which is uh, uh, reasonable and uh, 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 what is actually desired uh, uh, in that uh, in that detail. So uh, we have capacity. Only thing we do not have is that we need to import the chemicals, the consumables that are used to run those machines. We have machines. Uh, once you buy the machine, then it is there. But uh, the consumables that are used, they are uh, imported and that cost money. Hmm. And sometimes if you could make our own, that will become cheaper. So for example, these days each sequencing will cost a few thousand, maybe three, four thousand. Depending upon which machine you are using, what is the throughput you are using, it may cost a couple of thousand or it may cost five, six thousand. But if we could make our own reagent, it may go down maybe even tenfold. The cost, uh, yeah. 